Sane, sane fishing, or sane haul fishing, is a method of fishing that employs a fishing net called a sane, that hangs vertically in the water with its bottom edge held down by weights and its top edge buoyed by floats. Sane nets can be deployed from the shore as a beach sane, or from a boat. Boats deploying sane nets are known as saners. Two main types of sane net are deployed from saners, purse sanes and Danish sanes. Etymology the word sane has origins in the Old French sane, the Latin sagina, and the Greek sagin sagin, a draw net. History Sanes have been used widely in the past, including by Stone Age societies. For example, the Maori used large canoes to deploy sane nets which could be over a kilometer long. The nets were woven from green flax, with stone weights and light wood or gourd floats, and could require hundreds of men to haul. Native Americans on the Columbia River wove sane nets from spruce root fibers or wild grass, again using stones as weights. For floats they used sticks made of cedar which moved in a way which frightened the fish and helped keep them together. Sane nets are also well documented in ancient cultures in the Mediterranean region. They appear in Egyptian tomb paintings from 3000 BC. In ancient Roman literature, the poet Ovid makes many references to sane nets, including the use of cork floats and lead weights. Purse sane A common type of sane is a purse sane, named such because along the bottom are a number of rings. A line, referred to as a purse line, passes through all the rings, and when pulled, draws the rings close to one another, preventing the fish from sounding or swimming down to escape the net. This operation is similar to a traditional style purse, which has a drawstring. The purse seine is a preferred technique for capturing fish species which school, or aggregate, close to the surface, sardines, mackerel, anchovies, herring, and certain species of tuna, schooling, and salmon soon before they swim up rivers and streams to spawn, aggregation. Boats equipped with purse seines are called purse saners. Purse seine fishing can be a relatively sustainable way of fishing, as it can result in smaller amounts of bycatch, unintentionally caught fish, especially when used to catch large species of fish like herring or mackerel that shoal tightly together. When used to catch fish that shoal together with other species, or when used in parallel with fish aggregating devices, the percentage of bycatch greatly increases. Use of purse seines is regulated by many countries. In Sri Lanka, using this type of net within 7 km of the shore is illegal. However, they can be used in the deep sea, after obtaining permission from authorities. Purse seine fishing can have negative impacts on fish stocks because it can involve the bycatch of non-target species and it can put too much pressure on fish stocks. Power block The power block is a mechanized pulley used on some saners to haul in the nets. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, no single invention has contributed more to the success of purse seine net hauling than the power block. The Paretic power block line was introduced in the 1950s and was the key factor in the mechanization of purse signing. The combination of these blocks with advances in fluid hydraulics and the new large synthetic nets changed the character of purse seine fishing. The original Paretic power block was driven by an endless rope from the warping head of a winch. Nowadays, power blocks are usually driven by hydraulic pumps powered by the main or auxiliary engine. Their RPM, pull and direction can be controlled remotely. A minimum of three people are required for power block signing, the skipper, skip operator, and corkline stacker. In many operations a fourth person stacks the lead line, and often a fifth person stacks the web. Drum in certain parts of the western United States as well as Canada, specifically on the coast of British Columbia, drum signing is a method of seine fishing which was adopted in the late 1950s and is now used exclusively in that region. The drum seine uses a horizontally mounted drum to haul and store the net instead of a power block. The net is pulled in over a roller, which spans the stern, and then passes through a spooling gear with upright rollers. The spooling gear is moved from side to side across the stern which allows the net to be guided and wound tightly on the drum. There are several advantages to the drum seine over the power block. The net can be hauled very quickly, at more than twice the speed of using a power block. The net does not require overhead handling, and the process is therefore safer. 
The most important advantage is that the drum system can be operated with fewer deckhands. However, it is illegal to use a sane drum in the state of Alaska. Danish sane A Danish sane, also occasionally called an anchor sane, consists of a conical net with two long wings with a bag where the fish collect. Drag lines extend from the wings, and are long so they can surround an area. A Danish seine is similar to a small trawl net, but the wire warps are much longer and there are no otter boards. The seine boat drags the warps and the net in a circle around the fish. The motion of the warps herds the fish into the central net. Danish seiner vessels are usually larger than per seiners, though they are often accompanied by a smaller vessel. The drag lines are often stored on drums or coiled onto the deck by a coiling machine. A brightly colored buoy, anchored as a marker, serves as a fixed point when hauling the seine. A power block, usually mounted on a boom or a slewing deck crane, hauls the seine net. Danish signing works best on demersal fish which are either scattered on or close to the bottom of the sea, or are aggregated, schooling. They are used when there are flat but rough seabeds which are not trawlable. It is especially useful in northern regions, but not much in tropical to subtropical areas. The net is deployed, with one end attached to an anchored dam, marker, buoy, by the main vessel, the signer, or by a smaller auxiliary boat. A drag line is paid out, followed by a net wing. As the signer sweeps in a big circle returning to the buoy, the deployment continues with the same bag and the remaining wing, finishing with the remaining drag line. In this way a large area can be surrounded. Next the drag lines are hauled in using rope coiling machines until the catch bag can be secured. The same netting method developed in Denmark. Scottish signing. Fly dragging was a later modification. The original procedure is much the same as fly dragging except for the use of an anchored marker buoy when hauling, and closing the net and warps and net by winch. Other images See also Saners Notes References Division of Commercial Fisheries, the 26th of July 2005. Commercial Purse Seine Fishery. Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Retrieved the 20th of April 2008. Gabriel O, Von Brandt A, Lang K, Dom E, and Wen T. 2005. Fish Catching Methods of the World. Signing in Fresh and Sea Water. Wiley Blackwell. Page 431 to 448. ISBN 978-0-85238-280-6 Seine Nets Fishing Gear Types. FAO, Rome. Retrieved 13 March 2012. Beach Seine's Fishing Gear Types. FAO, Rome. Retrieved 13 March 2012. Boat Seine's Fishing Gear Types. FAO, Rome. Retrieved 13 March 2012. Two boat purse signing fishing techniques. FAO, Rome. Retrieved 13 March 2012. Purse Seine's fishing gear types. FAO, Rome. Retrieved 13 March 2012. External links. World Fishing Today Fishing Vessels Photos and Data. Video, Purse Seine Fishing. Video, Purse Seine Delivery Prince William Sound, Alaska Video, Purse Signer at Work Video, Traditional Purse Signing in the Bali Strait, Indonesia Safety Video, The Most Powerful Thing Deck Safety Awareness for Purse Seiners Seine Netting Purse Signing Seafood Watch, Fishing Methods Fact Card Retrieved 23 January 2012. Thompson, David, Pair Trawling and Pair Signing. The Technology of Two Boat Fishing. Farnham, Fishing News Books, 1978. Thompson, David B., Seine Fishing. Bottom Fishing with Rope Warps and Wing Trawls. Farnham, Fishing News Books, 1981.